Here's how to use StatCrunch from inside my stat lab in order to do our project. So in our project, we want to display the age data in frequency histograms, both for the male and for the female. We want to do a relative frequency histogram, a box plot, mean, median, and standard deviation. So you go uh, into the left side choices here. You click on Stat Crunch, like that. And this comes up. And you click right here, Data Sets from your textbook. Because that's where that age data of Oscar winners is. So then you scroll down over here and you get down to this data set number 11 ages of Oscar winners and you click that and that's how you get your actresses and actors data ages into the uh, stat crunch right there now I don't want to do the project for you right this second <laughs> so what I'm going to do is put in my own fake data and then continue on and show you how you're going to get the various graphs and the statistics uh, for the data. Okay, so I put my fake data in here and then I put my other fake data in here. So I'm going to perform the various things we need to do inside StatCrunch. So we need a frequency histogram. So I go to, to graph right here, click on this go down to histogram okay let's say I want it for fake data one okay then go down here got some optional stuff here here's the type is that's where I can change it from a frequency to a relative frequency that is asked for I can start it where I want and I can have it the width of these uh, bars to be anything I want um, I can put the value above the bar. I can show where the mean and median is. Okay, so that's the kind of thing you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it alone and see what happens. I'm just going to say uh, compute. All right, there it is. So there's your uh, frequency histogram on fake data one. Now, if you wanted to start it, and choose the interval width and start it where you wanted. You just get rid of this one. Just go back there to graph, go histogram, fake data one, let's say I wanted. And it's a frequency. I say I want to start at zero because on my fake data I noticed the values are kind of low. So I say uh, maybe I wanted width three instead of what they had. And let's say I want to show the values above the bar. And this time I want to show where the mean is. Okay, so compute. There it is. I have my, uh, my bars here. It shows the count and it shows the bends and interval widths that I wanted. And it showed where the mean was. Okay, so that's how you're going to get a frequency uh, graph, histogram graph, and a relative frequency graph because remember when you did the histogram there was a choice right here for a type and that was relative frequency or frequency. Okay, so that takes care of that part. Then we wanted to have some statistics and now uh, we wanted to show the box plot. So we go over here. All right, so we're going to do this uh, box plot now. So we go over here to box plot. And this time I'm going to use fake data two. And um, go down here. I want to see what these outliers are. The values of these outliers in my data. Because it looks like I do have 
some small numbers, but then I got some pretty large ones. So maybe there's some outliers. So I'm going to use this fence. And I want to do horizontal because vertical kind of bugs me. So I'm going to do horizontal. And I'm going to show where the median is, just to see what that does. So I'm going to compute. All right, so here's my box plot. Of course, the median line is right in the middle because that's what this box plot shows you is quartiles and medians and things like that. And I do have these outliers at this value here and way over here beyond 30. There's your 32, there's your 20. So there's your uh, box plot. And these were the uh, values. Okay, then we want to run some statistics like the mean and the median and the standard deviation. So we go to stat for statistics and we're going to run some summary statistics on the columns. And I'm going to do uh, fake data one. And the default is that we want to show all this stuff, but you know, you can show just things you want to show. But we got the mean there. That's what we want. We want the standard deviation. We got that. We want the median in there. We got that. So let's just uh, compute it. So fake data one apparently has a mean of 9.3846. You know, that you have there's an N, there's 13 values there. So we can see 1 through 13. Uh, there's a standard deviation of 4. That's a measure of the spread of the data about that mean. And we have the median is 10. Uh, we got these quartile marks that would have showed up on our uh, box plot. So there's how you get all the things you need for the project. Now we're going to talk about how do you post those or get those that information into the discussion post for the project. So you say you want to um, copy this over to your um, project discussion to paste it in. So you go to options and copy, but it says right click the image below to copy it. Okay, so we're going to right click, copy the image. Okay, then we're going to go over to my stat lab again and click on this project. Then we're going to scroll down to respond. Okay, and then we go down here, put in a subject. I'm just going to do whatever. Then we're going to do control V paste, control V. And there it is. And then you go on and you answer the rest of your stuff that you want to put in there uh, with your statistics and other stuff. Okay, so that's how you get the images from StatCrunch into your answer.